till the end of week one. Um, what a week it's been. Um, quite a few people have asked me to do a little vlog and record how my week's been. Um, for many lecturers, teachers, it's been a very fast-paced few weeks. For many other people as well across the world, but in my industry as a teacher, as a manager, it's been a very tough week. Um, so yeah, exhausted, anxious, scared, a lot of different feelings and emotions that have been running through my mind all week. Um, so how have I got on this week? Well, well, I t before I go to that, I want to just firstly say how proud I am of everyone who's turned the country around or is in the middle of doing. Um, it's a very tough time at the moment. Everybody I talk to is engaged in making it harder. Um, sorry, making it work, should I say? Not making it harder, making it work. Uh, making the best of the bad situation. Uh, my wife's a key worker, she's a teacher, so she has to go into work throughout the week to look after the, the you know, staff of people who are obviously on the front line out there. So um, it's very tough. I'm very proud of the college, the Warrington Vale Road College and all the staff. Um, and you know what? I'm very, very proud of the pupils. Um, they've took what we've done this week on board and we've had some phenomenal engagement out of the students um, and I'll be honest probably a lot more than what I was anticipating and what I thought was going to happen um, and I'll walk you through my week and if anyone can pick any ideas and get any ideas from what we've done um, not saying we've got it right not saying what we're doing is the right thing um, there's many different variations of it but what we've done this week is um, seems to be working with the students and I'd love to hear what everybody else is doing, what other colleges and lecturers uh, and managers are doing to one, you know, to keep the students engaged, how they're managing the staff, how the staff are coping, um, how they're managing, you know, through managing through a computer. Um, so it would be quite interesting. So um, what happened on Monday was day one for, in terms of working from home, I w woke up about six o'clock, didn't sleep much the night before. I'm quite scared waking up in the morning, anxious about how the day was going to pan out, how it was going to go, very um, nervous. I uh, had my first team meeting. So for team meetings, I'm using at the moment Google um, Meet. Very good. Um, there's also Zoom. People tell me to use Zoom. Think they, Some people think it's better than Hangout Meet, uh, a Google Meet. Um, Google Meet for me at the moment seems to be working absolutely fine. I'm having full team meetings. This week I did them every morning. Probably a bit overkill. Um, we involved the progress coaches um, in the team meetings so that they could follow up any students who weren't engaging. We were trying to engage with students daily. Um, if they weren't engaging that day, we were, we were messaging them, we were calling them, we were emailing them to keep them engaged, try and get them into a routine, because we think that's important. We don't want the studies to slip. So we were having those meetings every day. Um, I did a full meeting on the Monday with all my departments. So I'm curriculum and apprenticeship manager for electrical installation, motor vehicle and engineering. Um, so I had everybody in one room. It worked okay, but I told everyone to turn the mics off so there wasn't any background noise. And I went around the room one by one. Um, well, it worked okay, worked fine. It was it was it was a good first meeting. Um, I thought from that meeting, I reflected and decided to do it in chunks. So I brought my teams up. So electrical, ten o'clock, motor vehicle, ten thirty, engineering, ten forty-five. Um, that seemed to work better because we could have our mics on, we could have an open dialogue, people could talk together much more freely. Um, so that was good. So that was Monday. Um, started to see some engagement straight away on Monday, students coming in, coming in. We're using Google Cla Classroom, Google Classroom for our VLE. Um, again, very good. We really like it, really easy, really user-friendly. Students can use it on the phones. If they haven't got a computer or a laptop at home, they can use the phone, they can use the phone, the fingers, the computer, they can use the fingers as a stylus to answer the questions. It's really good, really user-friendly. The stream section, you can communicate to students um, straight very quickly 
if you have the app downloaded onto your phone, it sends notifications to your phone instantly, so you can give instant feedback, you can communicate instantly with students, you can give class communication via the stream method, um, and we found that form of communication to be very, very effective. Students are handing in work, they're commenting, we're commenting back, they're commenting again, we're giving them feedback, it's, it's working tremendously. Um, so that's what we're doing as the VLE. Um, there's a few glitches maybe in the VLE, which I think if, if by any chance, any small miracle, anyone from Google <laughs> happens to stumble on this video, I would very much appreciate um, some communication because I think there's some things that could work better. Uh, for example, on your, apart from getting email notifications, if you're on the computer, there's no form, no way of seeing if someone's made a comment on anything unless you're going through it. But if you have the app on your phone, it sends you a direct message. You can't see those notifications on the phone, on the computer. Um, the slight improvements as we're using it every minute of every day that I'm seeing that I could improve it. Um, so yeah, that's just that's just that. Um, so that's what we're doing. Uh, day two, I um, had another meeting in the morning, with, you know, different level of engagement. There was different classes. Um, the staff, again, woke up in the morning scared. I was nervous. I was anxious. And what's the day going to bring? How am I going to meet with the team? Um, is the internet going to go down? Is it going to hold up? I was having intermittent internet issues. I've got three boys um, who I've got a homeschool as well. Um, the wife on Mondays works because she's a key worker. So, you know, that's brought all these challenges and I'm sure you guys are all facing the same thing. So trying to juggle the work, the kids in my own house, as well as the kids that I'm trying to uh, get through a qualification. It's very stressful times, but um, everyone seems to be pulling through. So, so, go. so day two, um, again, yeah, woke up with the, those same feelings, went onto the uh, computer, had me meeting in the morning, great level of uh, engagement from students. We still had classes that weren't really playing, um, so we had to get on to those, encourage those, get them back in. But of course, you know, it's it's that was that was inevitable, and that was going to happen. Um, in the evening, lost the plot, decided to cut my hair, shaved it all off. <laughs> um, yeah, thought I can't stand another week, going to have it off, so shaved it all off. Show the pictures here now. Um, day three. Woke up feeling a little bit better. Um, again, you know, good chat with the team. Started to engage better. Um, felt that actually a, th a meeting on a Thursday probably wasn't needed. The team have got it. They're working. Every minute of every day, my phone's pinging with communication through students. Um, and I've got quite a large team uh, behind me and they're communicating at every possible opportunity they can with students and we get some really, really good engagement. Um, and today, probably the, the best I've felt all week, sitting in meetings most of the week. So all I seem to be doing is, is sitting at my computer doing meetings, planning, you know, assignments and, and marking work. So it's been, it's been a very strange week. So I'm hoping to see what next week comes. Uh, brings more engagement. I'm looking now. Our full-time students, 16 to 18, are engaging really, really well. The adult learners in the evening that we have on our vocational courses, not so much. They've got so much going on. Obviously, they're not. Some of them might not be in work. Some might be key workers. Some might be laid off. Some have got, you know, might be struggling now financially. They've got the children at home. Many factors now which could impact on their learning so we you know the next step for now is to try and push them and keep them going but then there's a fine line of pushing too much um with so much going on in people's lives but that's that fine balance of which you know we'll we'll work towards uh, everyone's working really hard and you know hats off to everybody so if anyone can give me any feedback let me know what's going on with you um, please, whatever you've, whatever platform you're watching this on now, please comment. Um, I'm sure I'll see them. If you're watching it on my YouTube channel, please comment below. If you're watching it on LinkedIn, please comment on there. Send me direct messages. As much help and interaction from anyone is, is great at this point. You know, we all learn from each other. We're all in it together. Um, and hopefully we'll, we'll get through it. Um, and that's all I've got to add. So in summary, Google Classroom VLE. 
Hangout Meet and Zoom for team meetings, daily communication with staff, and staff constantly in contact with students. And I think that's key, keeping on at them. Small bite-sized chunks of learning. We're not giving them big assignments at this point. Small things that they can get, they can give. They can get, they can give. Just keep on, you know, baby steps, baby steps. Um, research activities, videos, you know, we're sending them to places where they can get the learning from. Um, seems to be working really well. It's only week one, we've got next week. And for me and my college, we've got next week. Uh, then it's Easter holidays. So there's part of us that are going to keep a little bit of engagement over the Easter holidays because what I don't want over the Easter holidays is them to, for us and the students to get into a routine this these three weeks and lose that over the Easter holidays and then we've got to pick the pieces back up again and get back on that treadmill. And I think that'll be difficult. So it's important for us to keep engagement on over the Easter holidays. Albeit, you know, not uh, every day as intense as it is now, but let maybe give them bigger assignments, right? Complete this, give it them on the Monday, give it me on Friday. You can contact me in between. Um, I'll work, I'll see how that one works out, but I think that's very, yeah, that is important to keep that, keep that up. Um, and yeah, and I think, and above all, um, cheers. Um, I think it's well deserved weekend if you drink, if you don't drink. Well, we deserved relaxation this weekend. Take some time on the Friday to relax. Speak to family members, speak to friends, um, and look after yourselves. Um, we are going to be looking after a lot of students, a lot of staff members, so it's important that we also look after ourselves, isn't it, in these times. So, um, cheers. See you. I'll, I'll do another blog. I'll do another video next week. Speak to you soon.